The other question people have been asking, which is very, very strange. How do, do I arrange my name? So that has been a very technical uh, question, which sometimes people get confused. And even someone here is asking the same related question. Uh, the question someone is asking about uh, how do you arrange your names? Uh, like, are you going to put which one is the first one, which one is the middle one, whatever. For instance, uh, Michael Ezra, Ezra uh, is asking, uh, please, uh, do, uh, do you leave the other name blank if you have uh, a name, uh, name comes only, you have two names like John Paul or first name John, surname Paul. Like if you have two names, what do you need to do? So let me explain you to you how it happens. So it depends on your passport, first of all. How is your passport arranged? If your passport, on the word is called is surname, the surname of your passport is the last name when you are going to apply for the DV lottery. DV lottery it says last name, first name, middle name. That's how it is, it is arranged. So, if you have two names, mean, means on the surname is Paul, on first name, given name. So, on your passport, it says given name. Given name to be just one name, Paul. So, your name is Last name is, uh, I mean, last name is Paul. Uh, the first name is John. So John Paul. You don't have middle name. So there is a place you have to tick. No, there is X you have to put on the middle name. No middle name. You have to know that. If you have two names, that means one name will be first name and another one will be last name. No middle name. So you go and X on the middle, middle name. There is, in that box, there is a tiny small part. No middle name. So what if you have three names? They will be arranged like this way. Remember, every name you how you arrange it must be arranged as according to your passport. In your passport, it will say surname Makulilo. Given names Ernest Boniface. So my surname, which will be last name, will be Makulilo. Uh, when it comes to uh, given names, will be Ernest will be my first name. The following after given name will be my middle name. But there are some people have two first names and they don't have middle name. Or there are some people, they have two middle names and they have two last names. They don't have middle name. Or there are some people, they have first name, middle name, and they have two last names. I can give you an example. So for instance, someone is called John Paul is one name. Or there are some people called Anna Marie is one name. So that person has two first names. That is how you put it. On the aspect of one first name, you are going to put both two names. Or in the middle name, if you have two middle names, you are going to put two middle names. But also, like remember, the last name is your surname according to the passport. So that is how it is.